everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video if you are new here welcome my name is Tammy stick around and at the end of this video if you find it useful then if, if you find it useful for you please do give it a thumbs up by liking it and also if you've not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button at the end of the video I would appreciate your support so today's video is a very quick one I want to show those that are maybe thinking about starting a YouTube channel and not wanting to spend nothing on creating a good quality video but I want to show you how I used to and I still actually sometimes record with my my cell phone I use the iPhone 8 plus and it's all about getting the right settings on your phone and also the lighting the lighting is the two things that I'm gonna be showing you about this video and how you can create a good quality video with your phone with your cell phone, iPhone I have an iPhone I don't really know much about the Android or whatnot but the iPhone gives really good good quality for you don't need the iPhone 11 but if you want to go to that level fine but this is iPhone 8 plus I'm going to show you how I record some the video you're going to see some of them are going to be from my iPhone 8 plus and this is just my Canon 80D that I'm recording from with the same daylight and the same lighting so yeah I just wanted to do the intro to what this video is about to kind of give some tips on how to create good quality videos using your iPhone and I hope you enjoy this video and you find it beneficial today is a no makeup day now I'm rambling let's get to the video okay so here I'm in my settings and then I go to the camera then I click the record video section right there and I select 4K at 60 frames per second. And this is the, my favorite uh, setting for good quality video. And then I go back and I select record slow-mo and select 1080p at 240 frames per second. And then I select and, uh, formats and I select high efficiency. This is this is my settings and every time I record on my phone that's what I record on and it gives good slow-mo and a smooth recording when you're recording your videos plus the memory of my phone is over 200 gigabytes and I keep my battery at 100% before I start actually recording I make sure that my lens is wiped cleaned I don't see a speck of anything on it I, it's a microfiber towel Make sure there's nothing there because microfiber towels tend to not have lint as opposed to regular other towels. That, I picked a, a pack of this at Walmart for very cheap. Sorry for the lighting. This is my phone and it's on, set on 4K and 60 frames per second. Right now I'm locking the AF lock and then turning up the brightness. Okay. This is just a close up of what my phone is sitting on. This box is here. And that's where my phone is, right there. It's right in between here. And I take this size down, so it's sitting right in between that. So what I do is, once I tape it down, it's not going anywhere because this two sections here, it's literally, there's tension. So it's going to stay that way until I'm done recording. And I've already set my AF lock so that way, once I'm done recording, I can get up and, you know, stop it. But this is the, the setup, and I hope it helps somebody out there. Another thing is I have this cheap light that I got from Walmart, not Walmart, from Home Depot. I'm going to show you how I diffuse the light. The, that light costs about $5. The only thing I purchased were the light and the bulbs, and I already have my phone. Everything else was already in the house. I got a wax paper because this can be used in a microwave and you can use it to bake. I figured instead of me buying a soft box, I used this light here. I'm always sitting in front of my window. It's really large, but there are times where it's dark at, at night. I would hook this to my window, whatever. And this light right here, as you can see, this is like a budget light, but it's really, really bright because I got an LED light from Walmart, which is maybe five bucks. And this thing itself is also about five dollars so i bought two of this and these are construction lights this is a close-up of my backlight i pretty much have this on one of my son's chair and sit it right here i already taped the wax paper on i'm just gonna take off some parts of it so i can show you so the bulb is in there if i turn it on very bright right but look 
how it diffuses the brightness. It's so bright and then it diffuses it. And this has been working for me. And that's it. And I can move it up if I wanted to or down. But so yeah, that's how I get my lighting on a really low budget, as you can see. And this is like the space that I use when I record. That's the wall that you all see every time. I'm going to show you what my video looks like from when I record on my phone while I record from my camera. And then as you can see that light back there, that's the same light but a different bulb. So I can always switch out the bulb. I can put blue, red, yellow, or whatever. Okay, so like I was saying that you probably can't see my face because my window is right here and you guys are over here. But I just wanted to show you the setup. What I do is I would sit in front of a, my mirror, my window, this large, large window here. My light is up here for lighting and I've already started recording and I hit record because I already have my phone set and I sit here like so. I don't move it because I try to mark it by just kind of going at an arm's length and just sort of sit here and this is what you would see from behind the scenes you would see just this and yeah that's how I make my videos like I was saying um, the light or the daylight before I got my soft boxes this is what I would get I have my day the daylight my five dollar lamp my other five dollar lamp back here on the floor to kind of give a, my background a bit of a glow and I record and the post-production is where a lot more of the work goes into exposure and changing color color correcting and all that that's where my i guess the work really comes in because right now this is edited anyway i just thought i'd make this video really quickly for you all to see that you can make a good quality youtube video on a very low budget like i said the lights were five bucks from home depot the bulbs were from walmart not even more than five dollars or maybe about four or five dollars you could always switch up the the bulbs and then in order to reduce the harshness of the light, the bulb that you get, which is similar to what a soft box is doing, get a wax paper or parchment paper that's used for baking. And I've been using this since I started my channel. I hope this video helps somebody out, out there that's looking to start a YouTube channel. And yeah, and I am using no Mac microphone. Luckily, my space is echoey enough, I guess, and spacious enough, and also very cushioned in order for you to project, uh, hear my voice. So that's another thing you kind of have to put in consideration. Everything can be fixed in post-production. It's just a lot more work with the uh, noise canceling, reducing and changing of audio. Try to uh, experiment with a bunch of things that is around the house to make your video as best as you can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. I use the iPhone 8. Whoops, sorry guys, yeah. I use the iPhone 8 Plus. Oh my gosh. It's not to fall. <laughs>